Finally, the new spawn has awoken. What a, a momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn, uh, hang on. Spawn number four, four. I am fate. I am the Keeper of World Order. Straight to the point. Great. You are in my office, here to work as a Grim Reaper. Welcome to your new job as an Overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision 4 the Sun County Wine Region. I know what you are thinking, and yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system. And do not destroy the world, yes? <laughs> Gallows humour, you see? Right, yes. <clears throat> Clear? Delightful. I appreciate solid work ethics and a dedication to the craft. Remember, the fate of the world lies in your hands. Humans march towards the great dying. They always teeter on the precipice, creating endless chaos. We keep humans from falling off. We establish the equilibrium and keep the chaos in check. For that reason, your actions will have consequences. Because someone has to. Come along, I will now show you your workplace. One more thing. This will be your seven-day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be... Assessed. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper.
Oh, the new death spawn. Welcome. How was your first day? Good, good. I understand it may take time to get acclimated. Everyone goes through that phase. Remember, lives are on the line. I see exactly one person perished today, as tasked. Did you figure out the best choice? Indeed, I am glad you are paying attention. In the future, I may require you to make more difficult choices. Such is the unfortunate, indisputable, incontrovertible, iron-clad law of cosmos. Questions? Keep your eye on the letter for future guidelines, and keep up the good work. A new day awaits. Off you go now.
Grim, how was the second day on the job? Good. So, did you follow the rules properly? Great. Yes, everything looks to be in order. Continue the good work and do not let tough choices get you down. Great indeed. We could use more spawns with your attitude. Rest well. You will need it. See you soon. What-ho, customer! Welcome to Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Emporium! As you may guess, I am Mortimer. THE Mortimer. The one you may have heard of. The famous, nay, infamous Quartermaster! Why, I was the very Pirate King of Lore! feared across the world. Even as I have grown most humble with age, I still carry within me glory days. I, the Emporium brims with plunder, I plundered myself. Browse at your will. Grim, my latest spawn. 
Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? Excellent. That is what I hoped to hear. As you may imagine, it is important to keep morale up in our line of work. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent in today. Right. Everything looks to be in order. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles. Oh, thank you for reminding me, Lady Poddington. Okay, Grim, about your payment, which I may have forgotten about earlier. Of course. We take our worker satisfaction levels very seriously. The contract stipulates that every death gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. Marking profiles correctly is the most important task. If you mark more or less than necessary, you will not get your fee at all. Errors in secondary tasks will reduce the total, even if the primary task is executed correctly. There really is not much else to say. You may leave. See you tomorrow. Prepare for a perilous adventure on the ocean of quality merchandising. Blimey, we scoured nigh every inch for this calendar. Alas, mayhaps we raided too many merchantmen for it. Cause turns out, it weren't even on a ship. Still worth it for the annals work on any ear. Filled to the brim with arcane squiggles and short omens between the numbers. And in the footnotes. Also includes the major holidays of a hundred different civilizations. And all the name days. <laughs> I finally procured it from an old man on the steps of Acropolis.
Grim, there you are. Let us be quick. All the profiles are here, just as requested. Excellent work. You even adhered to my little test note. I commend you for exhibiting vigilance. I am beginning to sense a tinge of pride growing within me. I did not expect you to turn out such a good and dedicated reaper. If you keep this up, you will get far. You may be even promoted to a middle management position. Imagine the possibilities. Anyway, I am quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, Grim. What ho! How can me humble and not at all adventurous self assist you today? Tor blimey, how did this wee monster even get here? Tis not really all that valuable plunder. Found the tiny fellow on the riverbanks of Styx itself. A lifeless, adorable thing. Can't imagine it being useful for anything. But sure makes delightful squeaks when ye stroke it.
What a day, Grim, what a day. Let us go over your conduct first. Good, I see the correct amount of profiles. Today seems to be in order. Anyway, Grim, five days you have been with us. How does it feel to make the difficult choices? Ah, I told you one would get used to it. Uh, at least I hope I told you. Corporate motivation and all that. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? Hmm, your certainty soothes me. Ours is the tradition and those should not ever change for that is the meaning of a tradition, yes? This control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans, do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you make? It gladdens me to hear you do not bother yourself with unnecessary concerns. The office is perennial and venerated. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategies. We know what we are doing. Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? Ah, the children. They are a special case, for a different set of departments to deal with. You will not find any yourself. Countless. Myriad. Close enough. Anything else? Absolutely. All living beings have to be processed after the end. No escape. Even plants. Yes, there is a department for plants. Do not ask about the plant department. Anything else? Oh, <clears throat> not at all. In all and in none, yes. Humans have some free will, sure. They can make a variety of choices. Yet what matters is that they cannot escape the inevitable. The life-threatening situations that bring them onto your desk, a result of their own deeds and decisions. Then there are some highly complex calculations, factors and aspects that influence the situation. But that is just a bit over your pay grade, so do not worry about it. Anything else? An astute observation. You see, Grim, our office does not operate on information about biological backgrounds or genetic composition. Minimal. Everyone you assess is simply human, after all, excluding any monumental error in normal procedure. The bottom line is that the humans end up on your desk and that you must follow the rules. Anything else? Technically, kind of. Feel so alive. Hmm, I must ponder. This topic is a bit too abstract for now. Let us table it. Anything else? 
Right. It has been enlightening. I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow. Have ye seen such deals before? Tis ye who plunders me. Oh, tis wondrous marvel. Once upon me and me plundered the lot of it, even the mirrors. Built the frame from beautiful driftwood, washed ashore, from the ship we rammed into. <laughs> Covered it in all gold, too, coarse. I, a proper beauty. Ah, a spooky tale if there was one. Stumbled upon a gothic-like castle during me travels once. Seemed like good lootin' at first, but nay, a monster hunted them corridors. Head large and round, eyes shining like two lamps aflame. Twas paralyzing. Never have I been so frightened of anything in me life. Turns out, it was the Baron who'd got the curse of the Ware Pumpkin. Only happens during full moons, though. And even then, only one month a year. So tis not much of a curse. Knock, knock. That's exactly the question, ain't it? We are the exalted Chimera, envied by all the blind, arrogant fools. We are angst ex nihilo. We are nothing. A despicable failure. We are Elan Vital. The guide who won't lead astray, if only you learn to listen. We are deaf. How does it feel? Not a cloud in the sky. Have you forgotten what happened? Be seeing you, Reaver. It's a grim world out there.
Ah, grim. It looks to be a rough day out there. New recruits often falter during dark times. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. How do you feel after such a day? Good, good. We have to do what is necessary, even if we do not fully understand why. Let us hope these days do not continue. Any idea what happened? Correct. It hardly matters. It is just another day. Hmm. Off you go now, Grim. Good night. Good patron, me ship of goods is at your service. Whoa! Hello there. I'm Sari, and I welcome you to Cerberus's Den, the finest drinking establishment this side of the void. <laughs> I sure as heck haven't seen you before. You must be brand new. Did you just dapper like the River Acheron? The Avid Screams vintage. So, how are you liking existence thus far? Gotta look on the brighter side of undeath, eh? I'm sure you never thought this was how you'll end up. Sometimes, these are the cards we are dealt. Okay, newbie, before we continue, I got this little, uh, game I play with every fresh-faced patron. It's real simple. All you gotta do is answer a series of questions, and I'll craft a personalized drink inspired by what you said. It's like a quiz! Right, <clears throat> the gist. I'll describe some sort of an odd situation, and you answer how you'd react. I usually do four questions, and nothing else to it. Here we go. Prepare for question number one. After being tasked with creating a computer game about dating monstrous eldritch gods, you've come up with several characters. Which of the possible god beings is clearly the hottest and most dateable of the lot? Time for question number two. After years of working a stable, albeit a monotonous office desk job, you are let go due to a corporate downsizing. This, however, has given you a chance to reinvent yourself. What will you become? Next up, question three. Almost there. You wake up after an accident that has left you in a coma for decades. Your body and mind are ravaged beyond repair. The doctors offer a solution. A cybernetic brain transplant with a personality of your choice. Which will you choose? All right, final stretch. As I said, four is all anyone ever needs, right? You get to cook for a group of friends, but are lacking some very important ingredients without which your meal will hardly be a masterpiece. 
From what little you can scrounge together, which will make the best topping for a pizza? Got it. Let me just calculate the results. We'll take but a moment. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Leans to stability. Prone to conformity. Mm-hmm. I've got the appropriate concoction in mind. Start off with... A nice mixture, four centiliters of gin, one centiliter of elderflower liqueur, one centiliter of sugar syrup, two deciliters of club soda. Splash in some lime juice concentrate, add several slices of well-smashed cucumber and some cubed ice. <laughs> the quiz tells no lie. I think a suitable name would be... Borehole. First one's on the house. Heck, an understatement of the century! Now what else can I get you? Heck, were I able to count and name all the folks? Likely haven't fully realized the size of this place. We've got you Reapers and all the myriad departments, the Custodian Legion, the weariless data grinders of the Calculatorium, the abysmal archive with its archivists. Cadaver resources. They're just plain odd, but someone's got to deal with the internal issues. Middle management, nobody knows what they actually do. Higher management, but they don't visit us. Basically ever. Same with fate. Many of the regular workers come by the den, though, so keep your eyes and ears open. What else you got in mind? Au revoir, little reaper. Huh? What? What do you want? A fresh-faced lemon head. Uh, exactly what I wanted to see today. Hey now, Gus. Play nice. Well, seems I'm stuck with you now. You wanna ask questions or something? I'm the janitor. I clean up the damn mess you make. Liquor, spirits, booze, fire water, rock cut. You're daft after something. Ever looked in the mirror or thought about the clientele of this place? Where do you think the drink goes? None of you have a stomach. Anything you consume falls through the rib cage, straight to the floor. Yeah, you reapers hardly ever do. Always self-absorbed. Or could be at least a little more considerate. Gee, uh, thanks. Eh, something else you wanted? Simple. I float around and I possess stuff and make the stuff float into the trash bin. Like dust, for example. One dust particle at a time. Or the drinks. One droplet at a time.
Maybe a bit tedious, yeah. As if the highest management ever gave any thought to us lowly drones. We're all nameless custodians and spawns to them, literally. Do you really? Or are you just another number in a long line of numbers, hmm? Eh, something else you wanted? Sorry, they're hella cool. Why, thank you. You're nothing but a sweetheart, ain't ya? Ah, shucks. You're the only one who truly treats Gus with respect. What's that supposed to mean? Because you thought I'm the ghost of some dead human, or beast, or what? I... I mean, if only. No, no, ghosts aren't mere residue, a relic of humans, animals, or whatever other entities. We're just ghosts. We're beings unto ourselves. I am the ghost of a ghost. What do you think? I ghosted around a long while, doing my ghost business, and then one day, I died. I know what you're thinking now, and yeah, there is a ghost apartment. Northeasterly direction down on floor 133. Not too busy over at Geistall, though. Ghosts don't die that often. Comes to the territory. Eh, something else you wanted? Yeah, yeah, I gotta get back to work anyway.
That wasn't so good, was it? It's okay. We can figure it out, make it work. Crisp and clear like the azure pond at the forest glade. You were born for this. That's what fate keeps telling you, ain't it? It's like a surge in your spine. A faint echo of a perfect chord. It's very close, Grand Reaver. Be seeing you. Welcome, Grim. It is the end of the week. Your performance review draws near. How do you think you have been doing? Interesting. Hmm. Yes, your answer has been recorded for the psych eval. Now then, before the assessment, let us look over your daily conduct. I see the required profiles are all here. Excellent. This bodes well for the evaluation. I guess it is time to get started. Yes, what about today? Today? Um, oh, everything seems to be getting better as we speak. Do not worry about it. Fixing the world is a slow process. So, keep at it. As long as you follow the rules, it will all get better. Now, where did I put those papers? Ah, here we go. Right, looking at these stats, the numbers say... Your conduct over the seven days has been most excellent. I am, sincerely, surprised and pleased by your display of loyalty. So much so that the office has deemed you fit for a raise. Oh, do not thank me, Grim. We are just getting started. Speaking of, the raise also comes with a prize. The office is proud to present you with an award of excellence. Display it proudly on your workstation. Do not let this cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn and many rules to follow. Careful, Grim. That is exactly the kind of hubris that will lead to a downfall. As such, your seven-day evaluation period has concluded. You have passed. That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim. Need ye cures for ailments or a trigger to ward off a curse? What do you think? Having a nice relaxing drink? <laughs> Who told you about the plant department? Forget what you heard, Sonny. No such thing. Anywhere. Who dares to hope? In this day and age. Eh, ain't nothing to tell. We deny everything.
And you never will. Ha ha ha. All right, we're just kidding. It's not really that big of a deal anyway. Sonny, it's just a regular department. Not even that big. But it's very busy. What do you think? It's a department for managing plant life. There are a lot of plants. A lot. More than humans. Plants everywhere. We're real tired of folks asking about the plant department. Is why we visit the den on Sundays. Lowers the chance of bothersome busybodies with annoying questions. Who even gave you the idea the department is anything interesting? Eh, might be. Can't help it though, there's theater in my xylem. Anything else, seeing as we're now deep in the soil of inquiry? Me? I'm Herbert. You know, sort of like a herb art. A herb? <laughs> Don't forget the green fella holding me up. That's my pal, Tim. Tim's a real hoot. Say hello, Tim. Hello, Tim. <laughs> Okay, we see you got a keen mind, so we'll let you in on a secret. But you didn't hear this from us. Gotta promise you won't spill a bean. If at some point you break your word, beware. Our rhizome reaches far and wide, right into your room if need be. And these roots can rip the skull off a skeleton in an instant. Snap! A fitting punishment for the wicked. Snap, I say. So listen closely. We are secretly developing a way for the death mark to create fungus-based undead who will devour the world! No! Obviously, we're super serious. Honestly, Sonny, we'd just use a knife. <laughs> Tim's my partner. All root, stem, and leaf. Sometimes they bloom and have the most delightful aroma. Then the bees from the bee department find us very attractive. Anything else? Of course. Makes perfect sense, don't it? Uh, don't ask about the bee department. Anything else? Not in this lifetime, Sonny.